Good afternoon, everybody. Well, hello, hello. How are you doing, Ms. Samantha? I cannot complain. How about yourself? Oh, uh, it is a happy Tuesday so far. So far, so good, as they say. You know, nothing's happened to me yet, so fingers <laughs> crossed. Everything still stays good. Still early, right? Still early. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Samantha Smolik. I'm the Coastal Compass Site Coordinator. And, and my name is Jeff West, and I'm the Center Director, Coastal Compass. We're excited that you're in the connections today. And uh, Samantha, I'm really looking forward to hearing from this gentleman that we've got on, on, the, uh, on the program today. Great guy. Me, love Sanko. Me too. We, we love him over here at Coastal Compass, and we love Texas A&M um, University Corpus Christi, one of our main partners, you know, a, a great educational partner. Um, we have a lot of people calling uh, for you guys, so we are excited to have you on here and to get the information out. Sam, why don't you tell the visitors what Coastal Compass is, why are we doing what we do, and uh, can can they comment? Can they send questions during this live Facebook? Absolutely. So this is an thing? interactive, yeah, this, this thing. <laughs> this is an interactive stream. So if you're viewing, and even if you don't catch it live, you are still able to post comments, ask questions, um, say, I love you guys, because I know you do. I know you're, you're out there and you're watching us. You follow us on Facebook, you love us. So um, post comments, ask questions. Um, it'll pop up here on the screen and we'll be able to get those answered for you. Um, but in general, Coastal Compass, you know us, you love us. We're that 100% free education and career resource center. So no catch, you come in here, we uh, will get you set up with your, with your financial aid, your apply text applications, your college admissions, or even on the job side, we'll get you set up with a with a resume um, and we'll help you look for a job, too. So we are here and we are 100 percent free. Free. I like 100 percent free, but you have to pay for it. Like you get billed later or free. Uh, it depends I on the day. Pay for it. No, no, it is 100 percent free. We um, we have money given to us. We have it granted at the very beginning of the year. So we have everything and we give it to you. So. Nice. Right. So if I, if I come into Coastal Compass and I need help filling out a FAFSA, because we all know that financial aid applications are tough, mm -hmm. right? So how much would you charge me for that? Zero dollars. Nothing. Wow, that's Zero. awesome. And, I, and, you know, for those of you who are watching at home, I know this because I work at Coastal Compass, but I'm just trying to stir the conversation <laughs> up a little bit before we bring Santos on. So um, I'm going to go backstage, Sam. Uh, show okay. yours. Enjoy the broadcast. And for those of you who are watching at home, Please, 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 if you're tuning in on Facebook, send us your questions, send us your comments. We'll post them live during the broadcast. And so if you have a question for Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, or for Santos, uh, he's, he's going to be able to see your posts and your questions live. And, and we'll put that up and let him answer your questions uh, and try to get you the information that you need. All right. So, Sam, take it away, and I'll be backstage if you need me. All right. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, everybody, just like we said, we have our partners from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi with us, and we have Mr. Santos. Hello. How are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I don't know if you can, if they can see me, but I'm just like smiling, <laughs> excited, super excited for this opportunity right here. We can see you, and you know, I that's the energy. <laughs> yeah, and that's the energy that, you know, we're trying to give to everybody through these connections. So go ahead and take it away. All righty. Um, hey, everybody. My name is Santos. Uh, I'm one of the freshman admissions counselors uh, at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Um, the areas that I mostly um, deal with is the RGV, Laredo, and Coastal Bend. Um, a lot of places within those uh, communities. So um, you can probably just imagine me pre-COVID just like mm -hmm. running around um, in a car just recruiting like crazy. Um, but just because it, I'm just freshman uh, doesn't mean I can't answer or try my best to help with uh, any questions about, you know, transfer, graduate or um, kind of any kind of way that you want to just come into the school. So uh, this is just kind of like a general sense, not just like the freshman. So I guess we can just go straight ahead, right? Absolutely. Jump right in. All righty. So A&M Corpus Christi, um, here's some like little statistics, um, around 1,200, well, 12,000 students, um, usually on average every year. Uh, we have an 18 to 1 student faculty ratio um, about where our students come from, 45 states around, you know, the United States of America and 51 nations outside of the U.S. Uh, we have about 150 plus clubs and organizations, and that's actually still growing. Um, wow. even till uh, this fall right now. And we are the Islanders and you can see the uh, Island emblem and that's our, uh, you know, 
our athletics um, logo. So, and then the one on the other corner, the Texas A&M Corpus Christi uh, wave or wing, usually people interpret it their own way. So it's whatever you see it as. Is it the hand sign? Is it this? Yeah, well, it kind of hurts when I do this? it <laughs> like this. Um, like that, okay. Like they, they always like to keep it up as like long as possible. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't have arthritis, but like, I feel like <laughs> Arthritis. You'll get that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, as far as academics is what we offer: uh, business, education, and human development, liberal arts, nursing, and health sciences, science and engineering, university, college, and the graduate studies. Uh, many more that are like within those colleges, um, and we'll take a little touch into them. Um, as far as our college of business, uh, this is kind of like the offerings that we have with ec accounting, economics, finance, general business, management, management, information systems, and marketing. And uh, we are AACSB um, accredited, so that's one of the highest accreditations you can get in the college of business. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool if you're um, interested in anything business-wise. <laughs> Now, College of Education and Human Development, uh, elementary education, kinesiology. You can see all that um, kinesiology has to offer as well. And we can go on to the next one as well. College of Liberal Arts, uh, my personal favorite because I actually graduated with a COM, um, a BS in mass communications. Um, but this is uh, kind of like all the areas of College of Liberal Arts that we have to offer. And I don't know if this is getting in the way, but I'll hide that real quick so they can see the bottom. College of Nursing and Health Sciences, one of our most famous and still growing um, colleges right here with nursing and health sciences. So we actually have, um, forgot what we, I, I call them like the little dummies um, <laughs> that we have in like the little hospital wing, but uh, they actually have like mannequins that, simulate every kind of, you know, possible sickness um, that they can like, you know, go over and get treated with. And then they have their the cl clinicals with uh, local hospitals and uh, such. So, and more information is located. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. The next one is the College of Science and Engineering. Uh, a lot of stuff on this, um, but more and more people are getting interested in our engineering programs. And we just added um, two new ones, um, industrial engineering and then civil engineering. Uh, so those two are going to be um, in their Well, right now we just started a uh, school. So we're in their, um, you know, pre stages. So hopefully in the coming years, we have more and more um, as that grows. Uh, university services, what we um, have offer outside of, you know, the tuition and fees, uh, tutoring, well, inside the tuition and fees, tutoring, counseling, wellness, career help, health and accommodation. Utilize this stuff in any college that you go to, whether it be us or anybody else, hopefully us. But um, utilize those uh, services because potentially, I mean, well, you're already paying for it. So might as well potentially just go ahead and use it. So. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's included in your, in your tuition. So a lot of people don't know that. So great point. Now, this is just for the freshmen. Um, if you're like coming off of high school, this is kind of like what we'll be looking through. Uh, the English um, units, the math units, science units, social studies and language. So that would be the academic preparedness requirement that we have for the upcoming class as if you're coming in from your freshman year. How do you become an Islander? Great question. So uh, the freshman admission process, at least for right now for the fall 2021 and kind of spring and how we're doing that, uh, we're not actually, I'm gonna skip a step. We're not actually gonna take the um, test scores, the SAT or ACT as a requirement. Um, feel free to still t um, turn those in if you do have them. But back to the start of it, cause I just wanted to make sure we clarify that first. Um, apply Texas. Uh, I myself am going to apply for graduate school, um, hopefully in the spring. I haven't made my mind up, but I would go to Apply Texas and go through that whole entire process in picking freshman admission, transfer or graduate school, um, et cetera. Then I would submit or put in any transcripts from any college or 
from high school that I've gone to if I'm coming in as a first time student and or transfer or um, graduate. So that would be kind of like the main process. Everything is on that apply Texas. Do the apply Texas, please. <laughs> yeah, can't stress that enough. We get we Absolutely. get lots of people coming in um, through Coastal Compass applying for A and M Corpus. So, do your apply to Texas. That's what get that's what gets you gets you in. Now the next step. Oh, switch. Um, just some little information. Like I said, with the um, the test scores, uh, but the TSI is like a setup for college um, readiness. Uh, so that is a must, and you can do it um, through the school that you're trying to go to. And you can do it with our academic um, testing office as well. And bacterial meningitis vaccination forms. That can be like the shot records that you send through to our admissions team and any kind of form saying that you've gotten this shot. Um, the TSI, as I said. Um, now, others that aren't required, but, you know, could beef up your, um, I say beef up your resume in your application, is letters of recommendation. Obviously, a resume. Um, personal statements, um, kind of the list could go on for that, but uh, those are just like some kind of little um, little tips on the application process. So financial aid and scholarships. I may not be a financial aid rep, but these are just like some application deadlines or, you know, start dates. So the FAFSA application opens um October 1st for the grants, loans, work studies for the coming year. So this uh, semester is kind of like, you know, kind of done, but for the next semester and the semesters to follow um, starts October 1st. And then the freshman scholarship deadline is December 1. Um, endowed scholarships, um, it says March 2020, but I had to change, I have to change it to 2021 um, for the coming year. Now, this has been like an odd time. So I had to like revamp what I said right here. Uh, tours and admissions events do um, are changing. Uh, could be, you know, virtual, like some big virtual event um, just in our COVID regulations. Uh, we do have our touratamcc.edu website right here. And I will provide more links as well as um, any kind of like virtual event that we do um, post on uh, for admissions. And right now we always have like a virtual chat session from two to five and we talk to admitted students, prospective students with any kind of questions they want. And it's like on a platform Q um, EDU that, you know, we're able to speak out to as many people as we can. Um, feel free dude, to come tour the campus. Uh, we aren't doing personalized tours, but we do have a self-guided tour that you're more than welcome to try out. So that's still awesome. You, we have like a detailed setup of like each building. So prospective students are like, oh, this could be where this class and then admitted students and even current students are like, oh, this is great. So I'm not gonna get lost on campus. So honestly, we use that self-guided tour for literally everything, so. Um, ways to connect with us. We, we are on TikTok and um, we do have Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Still haven't gotten into really TikTok myself, but we do have those at Future Islander. So uh, feel free to follow us on those. Now, contacting us this way, uh, mailing address. Uh, we have our Texas A&M University Corpus Christi um, set address. Email addresses to um, reach out to us, recruitment at tamucc.edu, transfer at tamucc.edu, and um, just our office phone number. I will also have my contact information is in there too as well. So don't be freaked out everybody, <laughs> which is right there. So um, as you can see my face right here, uh, this is my information, uh, undergraduate admissions counselor for the Coastal Bend, Rio Grande Valley uh, regions. That's my office phone. Uh, as you can see, I'm not in my office right now, but we're still working on these kind of, uh, you know, regulations to keep up with um, Texas A&M system but uh, I still have connected with my um, home phone. Um, and then here's my email as well. And then the shakas. The shakas, <laughs> this way, not this way. <laughs> yeah, this, this, well, this, I don't know. I Whichever kinda, way. I shake it, just, <laughs> they, get, they get the gist of it. So yeah. there you go. That's the way right there here. There you go. 
And you can visit futureislander.timucc.edu to um, see any of our virtual events, uh, how we're going to work with uh, scheduling, uh, you know, tours coming in for the self-guided ones. And you could just go in for walk-ins on that. And that completes the presentation. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. You know, just to get some couple of questions answered. So we still are getting calls here at the center about, um, is it too late for me to apply for fall semester? Is it too late? Can I still get in? Do you have that answer? Uh, yes, and it's um, one day. So the um, August 26th okay. kind of like our like cut day because we have <laughs> this whole week we've had, I've had to like add in a couple of students and we've just been uh, working with all their files getting turned in. Um, right. it's, it's only because of that because all the files take forever to turn in. Right. Um, but right now we are working really hard to uh, make sure we are accommodating the students, you know, situations Absolutely. and as well as, you know, making sure the advisors are able to work with them and getting them into their classes. Right. So um, you hear that, guys, you still have technically tomorrow is the cutoff <laughs> date, but yeah. still get your applications in. Um, they're working to accommodate you guys. And as well as financial aid, um, Santos did mention that uh for 2021 to 2022, it's a mouthful to say that, um, your FAFSA applications opens for on October 1st, but you can still get your 2020, 2021 applications in. So, um, you know, you can give us a call. We are helping, you know, six people a day getting their financial aid applications in. I can do one in my sleep. So you can call us and we can definitely get that taken care of. Um, also, a, a good question to ask you, Santos, would be, um, so y'all have such a beautiful campus and yeah. you're, you're, um, you're right there on the water and that's kind of a driving point for a lot of, uh, students coming in from out of state or from a different city. But, um, you know, like you said, your, your nursing program is a great, fantastic program. We get a lot of people signing up for your nursing program. I'm a little bit more biased. I went the mass com route just like you did, but um, I know we, we got to stay strong, <laughs> but um, as far as, um, you know, students coming in and um, what are some of the, the perks to being an Islander? Well, it's just, well, in any, any college, you're just getting more job opportunities. But like, like I said, like, it's just the pinpointing and the connections with Corpus Christi itself. I just moved here in January. So I was just kind of getting involved into a new university, a new system. So I was like, oh man, this is like a lot, but it was kind of like similar to my old college, but this is just, the opportunities are just incredible. Like it's the boundaries are just keep on spreading, like spreading out. You know, with this population of like 12,000 students, like, you know, you can obviously see that what we're trying to do for the students. You know, I mean, obviously there's bigger colleges, but, you know, being on an island, you think we're secluded. It's your own island. That's kind of like our saying. But, um, you know, it's just the entire area is just so easily to connect with all the professors, the students and the faculty to student ratio is just important with mm -hmm. opportunities talk to people, talk to the professors, the staff, connections always get like, always set for the job opportunities. And it's kind of how I'm here. You know, Absolutely. Of enrollment. Um, I was a student worker for him at my old college. And now here I am working for him as a admissions counselor, trying to recruit for another school. So. Absolutely. College opens up so many doors and you don't even, don't even realize it. So, um, you know, great, such a great university. Um, especially with all of y'all's uh, credit, you know, credits and recognition, you know, such a great, great uh, education that you can get from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. So thank you for being here. We really enjoyed having you here. Um, we can't wait until you can be back in the center with us. Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> face to face. I know we, we've been doing a lot of um, events, you know, virtually, and that's just kind of how things have been going. But um, you know, still being that valuable resource to our to our community and the Coastal Bend. Um, we really appreciate you and just a and Corpus in general, um, you know, just with our partnership and um, always being there and, um, you know, helping helping us service everybody. So thank you so much for such a great presentation. We really enjoyed you being here and thank you for connecting with us. Yes. <laughs> and until next time. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having me. It was awesome.
Yes, thank you. And just uh, you guys, you know, um, wrapping things up again, we are that 100 percent free education and career resource resource center for you. So we are here. We're standing by the phone, email, Facebook uh, website. We are here and we will get your your questions answered. Um, again, I know, uh, you know, school has started this week, but still call us. We can help you get those last minute applications in, whether it's financial aid or um, college admissions, and as well, you know, um, a lot of jobs have opened up. So, you know, call us, we will get you, get those applications done and get those resumes built. So again, we are located at La Palmera Mall. We're tucked away in a little corner. You, sometimes you pass by us and you don't even realize we're here, but we're right next door to the shoe repair on the back side of the mall uh, by the parking garage. So we are here. We are not open to the public uh, in our center, but we are open remotely through phone, email, website, Facebook, and the list goes on. So you can contact us from Monday through Friday from 1030 to six. And we would not be even be here without our governing organization, Citizens for Educational Excellence. It is our local 501c3 nonprofit community-based organization. And their whole goal is to just get education and career combined and just to spread it throughout the community. So thank you to our executive director and the board of directors. Um, like I said, we wouldn't even be here without you guys. So I cannot stress enough how much you how much you mean to us and how much we appreciate you. So um, thank you for supporting us always. And just to wrap things up, guys, thank you for tuning in today. We'll be back on Thursday from 11 to 11:30, and then 11:45 to 12:15. So we will be here again. Tune in. We have some great partners to share with you. Bye.